Anyway guys, for today's video I'm gonna show you how you can make a really nice looking background or sky like canvas. How to make a great canvas. So let's start by changing and oh my god, change the texture. So let's just take a green texture. I'll find yeah, that's fine. Then we're gonna use the bump tool and we're gonna uh, increase the speed actually. So let's say the map the map you want to make is in the middle. So I'm gonna like work around the middle just to make a nice nice mountain background. Just try to be like as random as possible and have the edges a bit higher like at the highest point I guess, suppose. Randomness is what I am trying to achieve here. Yeah, just keep it going for a little while. I'm gonna take more in the middle here. I think we got something here, okay? So I'm gonna just change the colors. No, I'm not gonna do that actually. So we go back to the terrain tool and we're gonna use noise. I'm just gonna increase the radius and just go over where we have been. You can already tell it looks pretty nice and detailed. The noise tool is one of my favorite uh, uh, what would you say, terrain tools. Now I might make it a bit rough here, more rough than necessary. But uh, it's not a, it's not a big deal. I wonder if I made everything a bit too tall, actually. I uh, maybe I did not. So anyway. Then you go to the um, painting tool again. We're gonna find a rock texture. There's a lot of a lot of textures go through here. Okay, here we found a rock cliff. We can take this brownish one. We're gonna increase the radius again. But now we're gonna go to the minimum slope. We're gonna increase it to what, maybe 30, is that good? And let's start painting. You see now, it just paints specific areas, not everything. I wonder if I took maybe too much. Just paint over everything. Now we can um, go into the environment, go to backdrop, add a, a not elf maybe not alpine. I think mountain would be the most fitting. Yeah, that looks good already. And uh, we should um, get some get some trees in here. Go for pine. I like these small pine trees. And I'm gonna try to cover where it's more green. Is it not working? It's going on. Oh, okay, maybe I didn't select it. Alright, so just take some of the green areas, I suppose. Here's a lot of green. Just take your time, find good spots. I would say I think the, I made, I might have made some of the mountains up maybe too, too big. But you can like put the trees behind the rocks here, because you don't really know if it's, uh, it's flat behind or not. You can't really tell when you're down there. Okay. 
I need some here too. We're getting somewhere now, I believe. Alright. And um, let's see if we can have some grass or something. Maybe this one. Get some grass down here. Some nice grass. And now we could uh, we can go into the environment again and go to fog. Where is fog? Here's fog. Now I haven't played too much with fog, but. When I increase this one at least, it will like build up like a, it will come from below and work work its way up. And it just look a bit nicer I suppose. And then you can go into the day and night cycle, you can change hours, find a, find a really nice time. Alright. So, now you have a pretty nice canvas that you can build a map in, say if you want to have like a prison here in the middle or whatever you want to have here in the middle. Obviously you can like uh, play more with the settings, maybe have sunset and what have you. But I feel I did manage to pull off a pretty cool canvas. Now, thank you guys so much for watching. Please drop a like if this helped you and if you enjoyed the video in general. And I see you all in the next video. Bye bye. Let's. But first, actually, not buy yet. I want to get some cool shots.